Sean Kincaid Show on 97.5, The Fanatic, Philadelphia. The people who argue on behalf of the process come up with these ridiculous assertions. But if I'm There's backing the like process, it. I say, well, the chances of finding a Giannis at 15 are very rare. Well, we've seen two of them in the past five years of the NBA title. Two teams that didn't have to do all that, that weren't super Nobody teams, said it was the only way. That weren't super market. It was just increasing your odds of getting those guys. That's all it was, was basic math. What are my percentages of getting that type of player it was to tear it down and stink for a couple years. And assets was the big thing. Got to get assets. Got to get assets. Assets, assets. assets. It turns out you got the assets, but you didn't use them wisely. All right, Josh and Audubon, quickly we get you in here. Hi, Josh. Hey, what's going on, guys? What do you have to, brother? Um, I'm, I'm a defender of the process. I was okay with it. I think this plan actually came to fruition. However, Ben didn't hold up his end of the bargain. Like, we used our pieces from the process to get the team that should have won the championship with Butler and Reddick and, and Ben and all those guys. And and it was the guy. You cut, you no. cut out us there. We lost you there a little bit. I agree with him. That was the year. But every, don't, don't put the process on Ben. And I don't know if I can say they should have won the title. No, they should But that was yes. their best team. Do not put the process on Ben Simmons. That the process fails because of Ben Simmons. Well, That's he's a big ridiculous. part of it. There are, there, are, there are how many legs of the chair have been missed? How many, how many, how many bar stool legs have been lost? Yeah, but other Ben than was Benson? the crown jewel, as we said. We got lucky with Embiid. Ben was the was supposed to be the crown jewel of it all. If they didn't get rid of Hinky, would they have been in a better spot? You think? Yes. Coach Duke uh, uh, says uh, Toronto was in the playoffs like all the time since 2010. The only thing you can compare it to Almost is Oklahoma City. Sam Presti's getting lauded for what he's doing out there. He's essentially doing the same exact freaking thing. Is that yeah. that's the only place I had an emailer yesterday saying to me it's the only place that he sees Ben Simmons landing is there. Look, th- I brought up December fifteenth yesterday. That's the date that players that sign an extension or a contract this past off season have to wait to until they can get traded. SGA, I know it's not a reality. But if there was some way they decided to move on from him, I would shank every one of you to go get him. <laughs> yeah. What exactly does sh- what, what do you shank? Are you yeah, like, how do you shank? You, you like craft- in the thigh? No, are you crafting a knife though. Yeah, I'd so you're not picking up a knife. I'd you're whittle, crafting. I'd one. whittle one. Yeah, you whittle. I could figure it out. Pat, is I don't he- think you could. I don't think you. I think Pat I'm not would a, be not a whittlesman. No. Pat would be most <laughs> likely to whittle on this show. Yeah, yeah, I can see Pat I'm being a, a good whittler. whittler. I can see Pat being the whittler. Absolutely, it's I get, I get, I get my whittler. little, my little tree, and I whittle. Which one of us has ever carried a pocket knife? Oh, I carry a pocket knife a lot. You carry one a lot, not in my pocket, but in my car I or my bag. The streets of, I uh, guessed, of the burbs. I would have guessed Pat. No, I have one in my car at all times. What for? I lived in the city for twelve you to fifteen know, years. You, shank you never know when a state no, might break. I, I never want to use it, but it's what is there. It? The Jets and the Sharks are going <laughs> to have a fight on your block. It's better than not having a knife. Got to wiggle it around. Why do you get a carry permit? Then you don't have to worry about anybody with a knife. I don't want to. I don't want to. You don't want to win the fight. I, no, I, I'd never want to get in that situation where. Well, if you're worried about having a knife for somebody to get after, if you had the gun, then I you're was safe. walking the city block one time and a guy threatened my life. You know, if I had a knife on me, I would have felt a little better. How you feel much better with a, You feel much better with a gun. Well, yeah, but I don't want to. I believe in talking out a situation. <laughs> I, like I've threatened your life before, but like, how did he word it? Wait a minute, you could talk out a situation. Uh, yeah. If somebody's, I don't. I'm way too old to be. You're too pat. No, I mean, if physical. somebody's, if somebody's threatening your life. You want to talk it out? Not at that point. I just hope it never gets to that point. I know. We all hope it never gets yeah. to that point. I'm not we all carrying hope a gun. Our lives are never. I'm not carrying. I, I may Pat, have would, a gun. Pat, but would I'm you never carry? Carrying. No. You would no. not. If somebody threatens my life, I strip down naked and I say, Let, bring it on. <laughs> and I guarantee that they back up. They back up? Yeah. They think you're nuts. Yeah, because, I mean, look. Back it, up and throw the, up. The, 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 uh, as, as good as it gets because for them. Because the naked guy. Yeah, as good as it gets for them. crazy. They, 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 okay, they, beat, they kick my ass. But what happens if I win that fight? What do you think happens with the naked guy? What is he, what do you think he's going to do to you? Bob? It's not going to end well for you. Bob. What? Okay. This is second level thinking, Bob. We have What's the question. You get Jamie, threatened with your life, you Jamie's, strip down naked Jamie's and carrying and you say, his knife and he's going to talk it out. But Bob, Pat's just going to get naked. And in t- I mean, tail yeah, out. I'd, I'd run away from Pat. Absolutely. T- Cuz you think the person was crazy. Yeah. Sometimes just act crazy. They start stripping. Get down on all fours and bark like a dog. See what happens then. 
Bob's, Bob's for you. The thing is, this isn't a good seat. <laughs> this isn't a good seat for Pat, Eight for Bob. O'clock. I mean, because I've seen Bob's. No, I'm not. I can see your gun. reaction I'm not better. Getting naked, and I'm not. Bob's just going bare knuckle brawl. Yeah, Take I, your I'm pants not, off. Not, I'm not telling my secrets of something. <laughs> I'd be too afraid your of secrets. <laughs> Bob's secret would be, hey, why don't we go get a beer? <laughs> Bob, Bob, come on, come on, dude. You don't want to rob me. Hey, you want to go to PJ's? Let's go get a beer. I'll buy a beer. Let's go to PJ's. Yeah. We'll have a great time. I and mean, who doesn't like PJ's? All right, we, nobody. Even uh, the guy who's trying to rob you. The John Kincaid Show on 97.5. The Fanatic. Philadelphia.